enough. The witness may leave the stand. <laughs> This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. Nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. I'm just gonna sit here and flip off the judge while this, um, while this conversation happens. What? No! Oh, never mind. The judge went away. Oh, well. Hmm. Ah, there you are. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Mitsurugi Reijida. Well, I guess we lost. The accused will surrender to the court immediately. I guess we did. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Go ahead and pledge to my Patreon to see me game over more to video games to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date that is all this court is adjourned wait w who was that just now me huh what Lawrence Buttholes! What are you doing here? So this moment in the anime was a lot cooler than it had any right to be, because he like leaps from the stands onto the witness podium. Of course he does. And like it does like a freeze frame of him jumping, and it's like, who was that? Ah! Orita! It's great. Oh my Larry fucking would. Larry's great. And he has just the biggest, happiest shit eating grin on his face. It's it's great. I love Larry. Listen! You gotta listen to me, bruh! I was I was I was there in the park the night of the murder, bruh! I, uh, I wasn't sure about it until just yesterday, but today I remembered it! <laughs> Re remember what? The gunshot! I heard it too, bruh! Uh, order? What is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided! I call for adjournment! One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So, you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, I did, brah! A gunshot! That night! I was sitting here in the audience, listening to that testimony. Then I realized something. Oh, then I realized something he said was different from what I remember. Anyhow. Excuse me. I can't just sit here and let you call Edgy Kun a murderer, bruh! Edgy Kun. Edgy Kun. It's, it's just not right, Edgy Chan! I'll testify! Let me testify, bruh! Order! Order! Well, this is the first time something like this that something has happened like this in my court mm -hmm. i don't believe you judge also brief aside i like that the judge's beard is drawn asymmetrically it makes me feel better about my beard yeah he's just no beard is perfect yeah that makes me happy i'm not quite sure how to proceed judge you've already given your decision it's tired as offer. Nick? This is it. Larry's given us one final chance at this. She's right. If only it wasn't Larry. He could Aww. make things even worse. Wow, Phoenix, some best friend you are. Poor Larry. 
Edgeworth was just declared gu guilty, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Did she read his mind? Yes. Huh. It doesn't get any worse. You're right. Okay. Your Honor, if there is another witness, it is our duty to hear him speak. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Yeah. A feast of time. Suppose it cannot be overturned. Allow me to speak my opinion. In all court proceedings, it is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. What is this? I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. Le gasp. Mr. Von Karma? I order you to call this new witness to testify. Way to grow up here, Judge. Finally. I like that there wasn't even something that compelled him to start taking charge. He just started doing it. Yeah. I order you to call this new witness to testify. No! Ooh. What? Nani? The court will adjourn for a five minute recess. After that, we will hear this new witness. That is a good Larry face. That is my favorite Larry face. It's like, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. It's all, all according to Keikaku. That's a, that's a good screen cap, I was going to say, but now it's gone. Oh. This is it. A, a new, like a smash invitation. Like, a new witness has appeared on the stand. <gasps> yes! I want Larry for Smash! Fuck Sephiroth! <laughs> Professor Layton for Smash 1. That's the only character that will ever get me to pick up Smash ever, is if they include Professor Layton. That's fair. Did you ever play Court Marvel vs. Capcom? Adjourned. No, I didn't. Oh, uh, in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Phoenix was a playable character. Uh, yeah, I know that much, yep. He was, I'm like, he was so great. like, if, if Marvel vs. Capcom could have Phoenix, Smash could have Layton. I'm just saying. Yeah. What do you think, Layton aside, what do you think Larry's gameplay would be? Would he just jump into the middle of a fight and be like, actually, this? Hmm. Or like, throw samurai dogs at people? Yeah. Yeah. Um. One would be throw money at his girlfriends. Like, there's yeah. gotta be something. His his girlfriend would be on the other side of the map behind the opponent, and the money would hit their opponent and cause damage on the way to there's, Keonse Banals. There's also gotta be some kind of, like, decoy involved. Because, like, he's always, like, he's one of those, like, false victim characters. Like, he's always a decoy character. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like it would be more of like a move set that like Phoenix would be like, all right, here's a Larry, beat that up instead of me. Like he'd yeah. be part of Phoenix's move set rather than. So like, he, in, like in Larry Marvel's... calls in Phoenix to save him. Yes. Who is it that Elsa does that? Um, there's this there's a Smash character who like one of their moves is to call in another character from the game to beat you up. I feel it's... like I don't know. I don't remember who. I it don't is. follow Smash enough. Uh, there's a one of um, Phoenix's moves in no two of Phoenix's moves in Ultra Marvel's Capcom. One is to have Maya run in, flailing her arms, like I'm gonna spin my arms, and if I hit you, it's your fault. And like at the oh, opponent. My God. That's so. Yep, that's Maya, all right. And the second one is for Missile to charge in and tackle the opponent. I love that Missile it appears in this game for like all of five minutes, yep. not even like be plot relevant like you don't even have to choose him but he makes phoenix's move set yep it's it's great have you seen phoenix's gameplay in that game it's actually pretty like well done i have not it's it's like steve's smash move set but instead of having to gather materials you like pick up evidence and if it's shitty evidence if it's just like a random item you can throw it at the opponent to cause damage oh that's great and then if you pick up three pieces of evidence, you can activate objection mode. 
I love that. Yep. And you know the the animation of him with like the papers and he's like smacking them? Mm-hmm. There's one of him, he yeah. does that, and he walks towards the opponent, and the smacking causes damage, and it'll just be like, Sa, sa, sa! Kore Oh my god. It's so good. I love good. that. It's, it's so good. Whew. That was too close. Sorry to keep you on the edge of your seat like that, Edgeworth. Hmm. I've seen worse. Yeah, right, Edgeworth. You're sweating bullets. I just, just wonder what... Li oh, that's me. sorry. I don't know why I read that. <clears throat> it's okay. I was... I stopped myself as well because, like, wait, is that Edgeworth or Paho Uh, I just wonder what Larry plans to say in there. Larry was at the lake that night? Maya, you were there when he told us this. Yes. He said he went looking for the steel samurai balloon that flew into the lake. And he found the balloon in the air tank that night? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Edgeworth. Hmm? Huh? You say something right? Yeah, a lot of things, actually. A lot of, um, confessions that seem to just go over your head, but oh well. You seem out of it. What's wrong? It... it's nothing. Hmm? Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Oh. When he fell into the lake... I went into a daze. I couldn't understand what had happened. I couldn't think straight. Misty! <gasps> Cat! She just dumped on my desk. Get her to voice Edgeworth. <laughs> Misty, do you want to come be a voice actor? She says no. Oh, okay. Then I saw the pistol lying on the floor of the boat in front of me. Get, get her to voice Polly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I picked it up without thinking. I didn't have a reason, really. You imagine having two gunshots go off in front of you and the other person falls over. Mm -hmm. I see. Right. Yeah. Do you think Zac Efron could play Edgeworth? I could see it, but I don't know. Like, what has Zac Efron been in lately? Like, does he still act at all? Yeah, and if he, he does, I was like, what does he look like these days? He was in Greatest Showman, and he looked like a hot adult. Greatest Showman was like four years ago now. Probably longer. Uh, it was in 2018. 2017, first of all. Oh. So, like... Four years ago. Okay, I saw it in 2018, but okay. I figured it was New Zealand. Um, I don't know then. But, you know, it's not like he's gotten younger looking. He could play yeah. Hot Man Edgeworth. He could. Uh, who would play Phoenix? It would have to be a new up-and-coming actor to be the new up-and-coming lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Me. I should play Phoenix. Yes. Brown woman Phoenix. Is Phoenix a gender-neutral name? I imagine it must be. I feel like it has to be. Yeah. Phoenix Wright, ace attorney. And you just do your Francisca Von Karma impression. Yes, exactly. Yeah, wouldn't you rather play Franny Von Karma? I can't do a German accent. Oh. Do an Indian accent. Throw everyone off. Okay. Foolish fool. Fantastic. Fool, fool, dastic. No. Anyway. 
This might be our chance. Misty, don't knock over my holiday cards. Oh my goodness. Uh, how rude. Man, you're just sick of my shit, aren't you? <laughs> oh, baby, be nice. Misty, will you say hi to everybody? Go squeak, squeak. She's not in a squeaking mood. Oh. Oh, that's okay. Let's not force her. Our chance? Von Karma has only ever run perfect. Has only ever run perfect trials. <laughs> Perfect trials? Perfectly prepared witnesses. Perfectly complete evidence. That's the secret to his success. This is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. He has to let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. Ooh. And that someone is Larry. This is what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. <laughs> Von yep. Karma and Larry. Uh, you mean when an unbreakable sword meet when an undefeatable shield meets an unbreakable sword. Exactly. Was it a sword or was it a spear? I think it was a spear, but it definitely looked like a sword. Yeah. And because in Japanese it's written Igiari. You could literally translate that to, there is a spear shield. Spear shield. Misty, stop that. Young lady, young lady. <laughs> Go to your room. Oh, there's the squeaking. Squeaker oh. beeper. Squeaky squeak. Squeaking. My acorn is missing. Squeak squeaker, squeak squeakity. <laughs> that movie just turned 20. Don't do this to me, man. Yep. If I had if I had to know that, you have to know it too. Fine. I will say this, that joke where they run back to the palace and their the map trails are following behind them in real time is peak comedy. Yes, that whole movie is peak comedy. Yep. It's just it's so good. Do you remember when there's a sad moment and Cusco stops the movie to remind everyone that the movie is about him and not Pacha? Me, IRL, all the time. <laughs> uh, Edgeworth talking about the DL6 incident. Misha brings the game to a close. Listen, hold on. The movie is about me, not Edgeworth. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I, I, will, I will personally fund this movie. Great. Perfect. <laughs> Kathleen is awake and I hugged her for you. Oh, thank you. Hi, Kathleen. It's likely his testimony will be full of holes, right? That's right, Nick! No 10 minute trial this time. We'll milk this one for all it's worth. Hell yeah! Hey, it was 15 minutes! 15! Everything's on Larry now. Good luck, Larry. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's say first. Do you remember in the anime where Larry has to disguise himself as Edgeworth? Mm -hmm. That was great. He just puts on the jacket, only the jacket and nothing else. Combs his hair to be Edgeworth and just goes, Mitsuru Gireijida. Yep, he did it. <laughs> and no one We're fell for no it. No back in session. It's I was like hoping. Every time. What's the one in like the Scooby Doo live action movie where like they put Scooby in a dress and they're like, no one is gonna fall for that. And, and like Fred goes, who's the broad in the dress? Yep, it's the reverse of that. Yeah, I love every every time that stuff like that happens. It's just yeah. so funny. Like this is disguises, and it's like no, no, <laughs> no. No one's gonna fall for it. Witness. Did Edward dye his hair? Please testify to the court about everything that you saw. On the night of December 24th. That's three days from now. It is. Right, leave it to me, bruh. Please 
please, Larry, don't mess this one up. I hate to admit it, but you're our last chance. Help me, Larry. Bots are our only hope. Von Karma didn't even have time to prep his witness. I just hope Edgeworth is right about this being our big break. Hold on, can we just appreciate Larry's face and yeah. the, the title of the testimony? He's trying so hard to be so serious. Serious yep. boy. So serious that his mouth is longer on one side. Do you see it? I do see it. That night, I was out in a boat in the lake. I was looking for something and I uh, found it, bruh. So I quietly slipped back in. Bleh, quietly slipped the boat back in at the rental dock shop. Shop dock. Words! Then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. Oh <laughs> my god. What? This bang. Like, somehow that was like. Yeah, just like the way you said bang killed me a little bit. Bang. bang. I heard a bang, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Bang, bang into the room. <laughs> I looked out over the lake. I didn't see a boat, bruh. So after I heard that single gunshot, I went home. I already know what the thing is. Hmm. That was an unusually vague testimony, even for this court. Really? Didn't Cody have one that was like a single sentence? In any case, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. What's wrong, Nick? Everything wrong, Maya. Everything is wrong. It's Larry. I have no idea what he's going to say if I press him. I'm a little scared. Hmm. Well, we've come this far. There's no way to go but forward, Nick. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? There were so many things wrong, I don't know where to begin. Ah. Uh. Um, well, okay. First of all, what time was it? Oh, it was after 11 when I went out on the boat. By that time, everyone had gone home for the night, bruh. So I waited until the coast was clear, so to speak. I'm Cartman! And why were you out on a boat at such a late hour? Looking for something? Uh, yeah, bruh. Mr. Butts, what was it you were looking for? What the witness was searching for is irrelevant. Most likely he was hunting for this Gorty. That's surprisingly close to the truth, in a sense. So irrelevant, let's get to all of this. Around what time was that? Uh, well, let's see. I figured I was, I figured I was out searching for about an hour. I guess it was around midnight. Yeah? You're not sure? Hey! Don't give me that face, bruh! Not some sort of human sundial, okay? People use watches these days, Lawrence. Where did the sound come from? Yeah, well, I wasn't too sure about that. I looked around, you know. Did you look at the lake? What's a lake? I mean, yeah, I looked. <laughs> oh. 
Guys, Misha doesn't laugh at my jokes. You see how she bullies me? <laughs> Is this bullying? Yes. Okay. Good to know. I'm a big, mean bully. You are. I, I'm glad you. I'm glad you come to terms with it. Silence is cruelty. It is. <laughs> Wasn't there a boat on on the lake? Wasn't there a boat on the lake? Order, order. Well, Mr. Butts. Whoa, whoa! Everybody, just calm down, okay? I mean, it was real foggy that night. I'm not sure whether there was a boat out there or not. Oh, okay. No problem. That's just the most important part of the case, Lawrence! <sighs> so you only heard one bang, correct? Yeah! Huh. It was a pretty wishy-washy testimony, wasn't it? Guess I should just start working on the contradictions. Sorry. I wish I could be more helpful. I wish I could call my sister. So I asked uh, Becca this a couple of weeks ago, but do you think the reason for the whole spirit medium thing is solely because they could draw Maya with big tits? Probably. Like, that's why she like physically transforms. Like she yeah. I feel like they could. There were so many ways they could get around that. In the in the live action version, it it's just like Mia superimposed onto the screen with like a weird aura around her. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty decent to be honest. I can't remember if she wears Maya's clothes, but at the very least, it is just Mia. Just Mia and Maya's clothes. Yeah. Uh, one second. Tagging a person in a thing, because they love Pahonix, right? Pahonix. Pahonix. No, Pahonix. There's an E in there. Yeah. <laughs> Pahoenix. Pahoenix. Ace Attorney. Anyway. That single gunshot, you say? But it was fired three times! Oh. Apparently that was not correct. Oops! Oopsie boopsie. Oopsies. You made a mess. I did make a mess. Well, time to yep. restart the Bust game. It up. From the beginning, from case one, all over again. This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are that evidence and that statement just now related? Uh, from the number of times the gunshots. They aren't, are they? Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before making accusations. I don't think that won me any points with the judge. In fact, it actively lost you points with the judge. Yeah, two points even. Which makes me wonder why... It. What's that? We saw it happen on screen just now. Yeah. It makes me wonder why the point system is divided that way when I lose two for everything. Well, um, I know this is kind of, that's kind of one of those things that's different for the, uh... The, the remastered version, because originally this was just a bar that, like, uh -huh. didn't have lines on it. And it would be like, you would lose a certain percentage of the bar. And then I think in the later games they swapped to the, uh, the exclamation marks. Oh. And you would like lose an exclamation you like you would have five exclamation marks and you'd lose one for a wrong answer. In the so in the like, yeah. Oh no, you go ahead. I think so it, it became then like easier to quantify like how much you would lose versus like having a bar that like you weren't ever sure. Yeah. 
because I know in the in the mobile version that I had back in like 2011, it wasn't the the single solid bar. It was it was this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Versus like I when I had it on DS, it was like a single solid bar. That is weird.